What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your after work recap for Thursday, May 16th, 2019. Here are the top gaming headlines that you might have missed while you were at work. If you like any of the stories I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are your top six stories that you need to know about. Story number one, we have 30 confirmed games for the upcoming Sega Genesis Mini. Story from IGN.com by Seth G. Macy. The story reads, Sega is joining the retro mini console wars with its own Sega Genesis Mini. With the September 19th release date and a $79.99 price tag, all told, the system will have 40 games and 30 are now confirmed. Let's go over the list so far. Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodline, Space Harrier 2, Shining Force, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Toe Jam and Earl, Comic Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, Gunstar Heroes, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Earthworm Jim, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, Thunder Force 3, Super Fantasy Zone, Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master, Streets of Rage 2, Contra, Hard Corpse, Land Stalker, Mega Man The Wily Wars, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, Sonic Spinball, Fantasy Star 4, Beyond Oasis, Ghost and Ghouls, Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, Golden Axe, Vex. Vector Man, Wonder Boy in Monster World. Ten more games still to be confirmed. So Sega Kids, what are you excited for? What do you want to see on this retro console? And of course, are you going to support it? Will it get more love than the recent PlayStation Classic? I need to know in the comments below. Story number two, Super Mario Maker 2 features story mode, online multiplayer, and co-op creation mode. This story coming from IGN.com by Adam Bankhurst. The story reads, Super Mario Maker 2 will feature a brand new story mode and a co-op creation mode that will allow two players to build levels together. Revealed in a 15-minute Nintendo Direct, Super Mario Maker 2 will also feature online multiplayer with up to four players as Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette. Players will be able to play alongside their friends in a multiplayer co-op mode where all will work together and when one player reaches the finish line, all will finish and beat the level. However, multiplayer versus mode will also be available and will pit four players against each other on randomly selected courses and will encourage players to get better as versus ratings will keep track of your wins and losses. Single player story mode will task Mario with rebuilding Princess Peach's castle, completing jobs and mastering over a hundred courses to earn coins to help in your rebuilding mission. Lastly, Nintendo will be presenting the Super Mario Maker Invitational 2019 at E3 on June 8th at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. There is so much more information involved in this article. Adam does a great job covering the whole 15-minute Nintendo Direct, so make sure to go check it out if you want to know more about the level creator and everything else Super Mario Maker 2 has to offer. Story number three, Sony and Microsoft partnering to improve cloud gaming streaming platforms. Story from IGN.com by Colin Stevens. The story reads, today, Sony and Microsoft announced a partnership to focus on improving cloud gaming streaming platforms and more. The two tech giants signed a memorandum of understanding that established both companies will explore, quote, joint development of future cloud solutions in Microsoft Azure to support their respective game and content streaming services, end quote. They will also explore the use of current Microsoft Azure data center-based solutions for Sony's games and content streaming services. Noting that these efforts will include building better development platforms for the content creator community. The partnership will also explore collaboration in areas of semiconductors and AI. The companies intend to integrate Sony's image sensors with Microsoft Azure's AI tech across cloud and edge and leverage Sony's semiconductors and Microsoft's cloud technology. What does all this mean? I have no idea. I need somebody smarter in the room to break this down for me. But I do know one thing I love when Sony and Microsoft join hands to help build a better gaming world. 
Story number four, Fortnite X John Wick crossover adds Keanu Reeves to the Battle Royale. This story from IGN.com by Matt Perslow. The story reads, Fortnite has been updated with a new limited time mode that adds John Wick to the game alongside a variety of skins. Fortnite X John Wick, Wick's Bounty is available for solo, duos, and squads and awards one gold coin for every elimination scored. In addition, an elimination also bags you the number of gold coins your victim has amassed, so taking out a dominating player can be worth a huge amount. The top three bounty leaders with the most coins are displayed on a HUD scoreboard. The first player to collect a thousand coins wins the match. As well, the trailer, which shows off the new John Wick skin, pokes fun at Fortnite's Reaper skin from Season 3, which is based on John Wick, but not as accurate to Keanu Reeves' facial features as the new official version. As for collectible, the John Wick set includes the skin as well as the simple sledge pickaxe. So, for all you Fortnite players out there, go out there and enjoy the new John Wick mode and get that sweet, sweet, sweet Keanu Reeves skin because you know I'm grabbing that one. Story number five looks like we have some Metro Exodus DLC on the way. This story coming from Kotaku.com by Nathan Grayson. The story reads, Metro Exodus is getting two pieces of story-driven DLC in the coming months. Neither focus on series hero RTM, but instead shift perspective to other familiar faces from the Metro universe. This summer's The Two Colonels DLC follows Colonel Miller in a, quote, non-linear chapter, end quote, while Sam's story coming early 2020 is a more sandboxy story about displaced U.S. Marine Sam trying to find his way back home to his family. You'll be able to get both of these via the game's expansion pass. So get excited. We got some more Metro Exodus content coming your way this summer. And now for our final story of the day, story number six, we have our world's first in Division 2's eight-player raid, and it only took about five hours for the team to complete. Story coming from Kotaku.com by Steven Totillo. The story reads, it took a significant chunk of the day for any of the eight-player groups streaming the Division 2's new Operation Dark Hours raid on Twitch to finally clear it. The Pog Clan, led by Division streamer and YouTuber Marco Style, managed to knock off the final boss at 5.10 p.m. In a lengthy stream of the franchise's first raid, players struggled through several boss encounters inside the game's recreation of the Washington, D.C. airport, leading to a climactic battle on the tarmac outside. The last encounter involved a coordinated assault on a large transforming truck that would occasionally open up to launch waves of drones and exposing itself to attack. Within five minutes, a second squad finished the raid and a third five hours after that. According to the leaderboards, Marco Style was able to check during his stream. Article quotes, none of those teams showed up on the leaderboards as Kotaku checked on an office PS4, but a game designer for the game did commend the team for being world's first. So congratulations to the Pog Clan and Marco Style for being world's first on Division 2's eight-player raid, Operation Dark Hours. Those guys and gals will be immortalized in the White House, so make sure to check for the next update on your game. You can go check out that whole clan and all their smiling faces as they are immortalized in the game forever. That is the end of your After Work Recap. Here's the thing to watch. I want you guys to check out Hardcore Tabletop World Series. This show pits your favorite Rooster Teeth personalities against one another in a high-stakes game of Monopoly, where they play with real money and winner keeps all the cash at the end. Season 2 features returning champion from Season 1 and five other great personalities that make for an entertaining game of Monopoly that you will never forget. So make sure to go check it out. I put the link in the show description below. That that has been your After Work Recap for Thursday, May 16, 2019. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you that if you liked any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go check out all the links in the show description below. Give them a click. Support the incredible games journalists around the globe. Enjoy your Thursday night. I'll see you to wrap up the week on Friday.